All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, what it's asking us to do, Ivy, please don't do that because then they're. Is there something that these have in common? Yes. What do they all share in common? Nothing. Uh, Nothing, right? Close. These two have an X, but that doesn't have an X. These 15 and 8, they, um, they don't have anything in common either. We say what two numbers we multiply to give us 15, but add to give us 8. And we say that's going to be a 3 and a 5. So what that tells us to do now is look at I can rewrite this as a 3x and a 5x. Alright? So if I was to write all of this out, you guys remember when we did the rules? Mary what I did is I did x squared plus 3x plus 5x plus 15. When I write that out, does that give me that answer? Yes. So I now have this area is what that represents. It is represented in a different way. So now what I need to do is I need to figure out what the side lengths are. I know that x times x gives you x squared, but x times what gives you 3x? And then x times what gives you 5x? So this times this gives you 5x. This times x gives you 5x. All right. So therefore, now what I've just created is x plus 5 times x plus 3. And remember, so we say, well, so now I've taken an, an expression times an expression, multiply these two, <coughs> gives me this trinomial. So now have I rewritten this as a product? Yeah. Yes. And does this times this multiply to give you that? And when you check by FOIL, distributed property, whatever you want to do, it does. So that is a way you can FOIL it out. All right? What was the point of that? Point of what? Pretty, well, you solved it, and then you just solved it again. What was the point of that? What do you mean I solved it and solved it again? You did that the second well, first. Right. right. And then you did what I was doing is I was showing you, I'm showing you how this represents the area. So when you're writing something as a product, or I'm sorry, when you're factoring something, what you're doing is you're given the area and you're trying to find what two numbers multiply to give it to you. What it is, it's like finding the length and the width of a rectangle. So what I'm doing is you're just fact you're given the area, I want you to find the lengths. All right, so, but to determine what box is what go in here, we still want to use our diamond method. Does that make sense? So I'm just showing, I went through the diamond method again, but I'm showing you how you could do it. You guys also, like I said, when we just kind of did the shortcut for the diamond method, we just did x plus three times x plus five, right? When you have a equals one, you can just rewrite the problem very simply like this. I just wanted to give you a visual representation of why that works. That's all it was. Okay. Well, yeah, there you go.